Hey everybody, happy Monday. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a um, cute little project. The items you're gonna need are a hole puncher, hot glue gun with hot glue, a pair of scissors, um, paper or cardstock. I suggest cardstock. You're also gonna need um, pipe cleaners, a skewer, or you can make uh, or a paper straw. You could use that. Uh, markers. That's it. All right. So what we're gonna make today is this cute little inchworm on a leaf. Uh, good morning. Anyway, um, so to get started, you want to draw your leaf. You could do uh, all different leaf shapes if you want. Um, so, oh, I should have set a pencil and eraser in case you mess up. So I'm going to grab a pencil out of here. I love that my cart rolls because I can just reach in and grab. I can't find that. Okay. All right, so to start, you wanna make your leaf and you can make your leaf however you want. However, my suggestion is to make sure it's straight and don't curve it unless you want your um, little inch mark to come off your leaf, in which case you can make it like that. That's up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna start by doing a rounded side here. And then I'm going to do another rounded side. You don't connect it because you want to leave uh, room for the stem, right? Hi, Anna. All right, and then, um, and then you're going to do your stem. And we're gonna, we'll trace it with like color pencil or mark. If you have color pencil, you don't have marker, that's fine. You could do it with color pencil as well. Um, and then make your, your line down the middle. And then for those of you just joining, we're doing this little inchworm leaf project today. Uh, and so then you wanna put your lines on there. So I like to do my like little leaf veins like every other, but you could do it however you want. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Then what I'm gonna do is, once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna add little branch off ones like this. Okay, so wherever you wanna do those, however, you could do several on one if you want. So see how I did, a couple on one. All right. Because leaves have lots of veins, you know. There we go. Um, okay. And then once you have that drawn out with your pencil, then you're going to take your markers or your color pencils or whatever you have. And I have these markers, but I want a thinner marker to do the outline and everything. So I'm going to do a thinner marker first. So I'm going to outline all of that that we just drew. Right? There we go. And then um, I want to wait to do the to do the inside, and I'm going to color that first, and then I'm going to go over that. So then the next thing is I'm going to I'm going to color this in. Coloring your leaf once you have it out the outline done. This project usually don't take too long to make. Super cute though. Then I messed up on the first one. I had to had to do it over. Okay. I think I've been pushing on my marker too too hard because now it's starting to. The tip is pushing over to one side. All right, color that in. Okay. Then 
once you have it colored in, then you can go back over it with your finer tip marker, all right? Or pencil, whatever you're using. If you're using only a pencil, then that's fine too. And then just start going over those lines if you can see them. There we go. Okay, then once you have it all drawn out, the next step you're going to do is you're going to um, cut it out. So that's the next step. So cut out your, cut out your leaf. Take your time. You don't want to mess it up. And now when you cut this, you're going to save this part because you're going to need a piece of that. All right. The other side you can throw away, but you're going to need a piece of a piece of the cardstock or paper, or whatever it is you're using. I suggest cardstock because it's thicker. But also, if you don't have the skewer, you can use the paper straw. That will work too. Definitely needs to be paper though, so we can attach it, attach your worm to it. Okay, now I'm gonna save one of these because I'm gonna need it. And I'm put the other extra pieces aside. Oh, also, I think in the description I said you need a pen. You're also going to, a pen or something to, I mean, or you could just use this, but I like the pen. So I'm going to grab a pen here, thicker pen. These are my Micron pens. They're for drawing, and I really like them. Okay, so for this, you're going to um, set your leaf aside a second. And you're going to draw a circle, however big you want. Don't do it too big, but big enough. And then you're going to give that circle eyes, okay? You could give your face a mouth if you want. That's up to you. I did. I gave mine a mouth. Okay, and then color that in the color of your pipe cleaner. So my pipe cleaner is orange. So I'm going to color in the color of my pipe cleaner, which I have a color that looks similar to it, so I'm going to use this one right now. So color in the face. There we go. So now I colored in my face. Next step is to cut that out. Once you get that cut out, you could set it aside for a second. But make sure your hot glue uh, gun is plugged in. Important, because then you can't follow along if it's not. You want it to be nice and nice and ready to go. Okay, now put that aside. You can just stick that on a leaf right there. <laughs> Next step is to take your cardstock and cut about this much. That's good. Maybe two inches, inch, yeah, it's about two inches long and about maybe an inch and a half wide. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll or you're going to, first you're going to color it. You want to color it first and it needs to be the color of the leaf, okay? So whatever color you colored your leaf, color um, the paper, okay? That's the next step. So now I'm going to color that little paper that I just cut the same color as my leaf, okay? All right. Then once you have that colored in, I'm going to put a little line down the middle because this is getting glued on top of this, so you want it to look like um, the leaf. All right, so then you're going to roll that over your sticks or straw or whatever you have. So I have this, so I'm just gonna kind of roll and shape it a little bit. Shape it. Okay, and then once you have it shaped, you wanna put hot glue underneath there to glue it together, right? So, get a hot glue. 
Be careful you don't burn yourself. I actually got too much hot glue on this. Good thing my hands are used to it. All right, then once you have that, the next step is to glue that, this that we just did, to the leaf, okay? So you're gonna glue it down kind of towards the stem a little bit. So like, about right there, okay? Oh, excuse me, hiccups. All right, so then glue that, put some glue on this, okay? You don't need a lot, less is more. There's that. Okay, so then this is how your leaf should look right now. That should be glued on there. And then the next step is you're gonna take your hole punch that we have, and you're going to punch holes along your leaf. So, what this does is it makes it look like bite marks from the worm, right? And just punch holes in it wherever, however many you want. And if you do them on top of one another, then it gives it this little chew effect. See how it looks like it's been chewed on, right? There we go. Oh, this is so cute. There we go. Ha! All right, and then do those on both sides. Um, on the edges, if you do it on the edge, then it looks like the little thing ate off the edge of the plant. So get that a little bit. Some right here in the middle and then once you have that the next step is the worm okay so this is what my leaf looks like now it's got little bite marks in it that's cute now you set that aside and you're gonna take your pipe cleaner okay and you're gonna fold up one end and that's just so you don't poke yourself so you're the same for the other side. Uh, thing is, though, so you need to figure out how long your leaf is and you need to measure it. So once you have that folded up, you're gonna we're gonna hot glue this part to um, this, okay? So bend your um, bend your pipe cleaner and figure out work with it and kind of figure out you want it to stay on the leaf. So how big do you want your inchworm to actually be? You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna do it about right there. I really should have a wire cutter. I should not be using scissors for this, but these aren't very good scissors, so I'm okay. All right, so once you have, um, once you have your worm cut, you wanna add, uh, you wanna bend the end up. This is where the head is gonna be, okay? Right there. Okay, now um, you're going to take your stick and you're going to poke it into that hole. All right, so you're just going to have to kind of hold it because otherwise it'll fall off if you're not careful. Um, so you poke it in that hole and then you're going to take, before we get anything else, we're going to glue our face onto our worm. Okay, so put some glue onto the end of the... <coughs> Pardon me, end of the worm. Like that. Sorry, I have to get a drink. My throat is dry. Okay, well, once you have your little worm face on, then the next step is to glue the bottom of it to this part, okay? So glue right here, wherever. You can go as far down as you want, but remember, you measured your worm, so go. Don't put too much glue on it. You don't want too much. All right, now you just, I put a little too much on it. It came out. My glue gun's hard to squeeze. So if you put too much on it, it's all right. Just uh, hold it there, glue on it, whatever you got to do to dry it. Sometimes I use my fingers because I'm used to it, but. Make sure you push down on it to get it to stick. All right, it's getting there. Just takes time. I think it's cute.
cute. I thought it was a cute little project. All right. Thanks for saying so. Okay, and then the next step is once you have it glued to that, like that, then the next step is to glue this part to the bottom of your stick or your straw, whatever it is that you're using, right? And since I have um, kind of a little notch right here, a little bottom part, I'm gonna just gonna glue that stick to that, okay? So the next step I'm gonna do is put glue on the end of the stick, or I'm gonna try to anyway. Try to. And then the little worm goes on that. And then you gotta wait for it to dry. Do not let it go, because if you let it go, then it's gonna pop off. All right. And then, and then, and then we've done it. It was a quick project, I know, but I thought it was really cute. It'd be something that you all could do with your kids or your kid could do by themselves or whatever. But um, it's a little inchworm project. I like this one better than the other one I did. Anyway, if you have a skewer and it's got a sharp point on it, mm, cut that off or break it off. You don't want that, you don't want that hurting somebody, you know. If you need to, you could take a piece of tape and wrap the bottom of it also where you cut it. So that uh, nobody gets hurt on it. I'll do that now. All right. So thanks for watching today. I'll be on again tomorrow at 11. If you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org. It tells you how to buy tickets, what our hours are, all that good stuff. Um, and all of our protocols, that all the things we're doing right now. Um, during this time, uh, like our Facebook page, follow us. If you're watching this video, you probably already are. If you want to see any of the videos that I've done prior, um, you can find it on the videos tab on our Facebook page, or you can find it um, at the City Museum um, website. There's a there's a section um, that says uh, live on air, I believe, and then you can see all the videos that I've done prior to that and all the videos that my co-workers have done for the museum like the bug room and um, um, Stephanie and Maria Musings I think it's called anyway um, thanks Reggie uh, anyway so that's that um, all the videos that you can watch and until tomorrow at 11 o'clock I'll be on again for another fun project see you tomorrow